Viewscreen XL project. That's a, a network of uh, 32 partners in Europe who work together to upload uh, their audiovisual content uh, on our portal, euscreen.eu, where users can find stuff and, and, and watch at it, and in a few weeks can also play with it. There's a close relationship between Europeana and the Euscreen. Euscreen uh, is an expert in the audiovisual domain, and Europeana is an expert in cross-domain aggregation, if you want, so including libraries, museums, and archives. Over the past uh, decade, uh, more and more material has been uh, digitized and it's now finding its way uh, online. I think all of our, our partners uh, have some, some way of uh, uh, providing online access to their content. So what we are doing now is to take the next step, you know, to uh, make it meaningful uh, to uh, offer our um, collections in a meaningful context. Uh, and that's I think why also the, the topic of, of uh, today and tomorrow, uh, you know, focusing on curation is key. Talking about the curation is something what is the, the, the most important thing, how Nina look at the archives. It's never just putting the music or putting the um, uh, audiovisual content or audio content to the audience, but this is always contextualized. do live in a world of plenty, uh, whether that plenty comes from the cultural institutions or just from the world outside is something to, that can be debated. I think it is our role to guide people to the relevant material of the relevant qualities. I think what's also very, really important, we are we're a public body. Uh, EU Screen is, uh, Europeana is, so our main mission should be to make as much as that material as openly available as possible for real reuse. Um, so I think maybe that's the, probably the, the most important part of our curational work. to show that Europe had different things that were happening at the same time. And I think video is a very strong medium to convey that message. So Euroclio has been working on the collection of uh, historians' quotes on uh, photographs, statistics, and now that we couldn't access the audiovisual material. So that's why we started this cooperation with uh, Uscreen. And the people from Uscreen, they know their own collections, but they can also help us uh, to remove some barriers, such as language, but also copyright issues, and to make sure that the sources can really be used in the classroom. I've been following the EU Screen project for at least two years now. I'm really inspired by everything that they're doing with making collections available online and not just making them available online, but, um, but meeting users where they are and not expecting that users are going to come to the EU Screen website to view materials. I'm also really inspired by how EU Screen is trying as much as possible to um, encourage reuse of the collection.